This is the June 10 pilot second question. And so, first of all, a roots of an equation question. Um, this one's nicer than some of the ones we've had recently because you're just being asked when does it intersect the x axis? It intersects the x axis when y is zero. So we've immediately got our f of x thing here, it's all in one go. Uh, some of the other exam paper ones, you've had to make them equal to each other before defining f of x. So let f of x equal that bit there. So what we're going to find now is well, let's find f of 1. And when we tap 1 into that equation, we get 1 plus 4, take away 8. So we're going to get minus 3. Then we'll find out what f of 2 is. And we've got 2 cubed, so we've got 8. And another 8, take away 8. So this time we've got 8. Um, so one's negative, one's positive. Um, so the change of sign uh, gives us the indication that there is a root between 1 and 2. Alpha is between 1 and 2, just writing exactly like it says there. Um, second question says do some rearranging. We need to rearrange this to look like that. And remember the last line here must be exactly this. Uh, what should we do? Let's add 8 to both sides. If we add 8 to both sides, we get x cubed plus 4x equals 8. And I'm being really clear, showing an examiner what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take away 4x's. Taking away 4x's, 8 to take away 4x's. And finally, cube root it. And so x equals the cube root of 8 take away 4x. It's only one mark but just show everything really clearly so there can be no doubt. Um, now we're going to use this iteration thing. So we've got our formula here. Uh, we're starting with x1 equals 1. And we're going to need our calculator, aren't we? So let's, let's pull up the calculator and stick this in. Um, start by putting the 1 in there. So 1 equals that. And now we're doing the cube root of 8 take away 4 times the answer. 8 take away 4 times the answer. Do I need to put times there? No. There's the first one we've got. We've got 1.587. Check. What do we want? We want three significant figures. What did I say? I said 1.587. That's not going to be right, is it? We want three significant figures. So we want 1.59. Careful of that rounding. There's the second one. Let's go for the third one as well. Bring back the calculator. Just push equals again. And I'm getting... 1.18 this time. Uh, 1.18. Uh, again, I've got my rounding spot on there. Um, we had this in the mock, didn't we? The uh, drawing the cobway of uh, the staircase diagram. I've got it here. It says starting at x1, and so you remember it's use your ruler and go curve, and then the line. Curve, and then the line. Curve, and then the line. And it does go on and on and on. Let's find out. There's x1. This one here, there's your x2. And then this is the third one here, isn't it? Here's your x3. Um, and that's the picture that you should be getting. It does go on and on and on. Does it ask us to do that? Show how convergence takes place. So I think I might do a few more um, just to finish it off.